So before we begin today's video, hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell right here. Why you ask? You have to or, you know, you may miss some of my videos. What's up guys, Violet here and in today's video what we're going to be doing is another episode of Destiny Mythbusters, the one show that you guys really seem to enjoy. So before the video does start and we do proceed, if you do go on to enjoy today's video, 2000 likes will be the like goal. If you can reach that, thank you guys so much. Your support lately is amazing. We're getting close to 52k, it's crazy. Thank you guys so much. Let's jump right into this week's episode of Mythbusters then. The first one is from XMXNGO and I'm guessing he means X Mango because I have an X in my name on PlayStation. Actually no I don't, I was on Xbox. Uh, I used to have an Xbox One by the way, but yeah I use an X as an A, but oh well that's a different story. <laughs> he says Myth, the Zen Meteor perk will kill a Jug Shield Titan if the last round is fired at the ground, not directly into the shield. So. I had doubts on this one. I really did have doubts, and again, but then again, that's kind of me spoil. You know what? Just watch the footage. Double kill. Triple down. This is amazing. Double kill. Well fought. So as you can see, it can happen. I, like I said, I had doubts. I was thinking, no, that's not going to work. The junk shield is just going to disappear and it's going to work. So I actually did try uh, shooting the shield itself to see if the explosive damage would also take the shield down and the guardian. But it doesn't. You have to shoot at the ground near the titan's feet for the explosive to work versus the uh, junk shield. So that's a counter if you guys ever get lucky in the crucible and have that last round versus a titan. You guys know what to do. Moving on to the next one then, which is from Mumbling Momo. And he says myth or he or she I, I usually say he but you know there could be a she behind the uh behind the profile so i'm sorry if i've said he before and you're a she you know it is what it is bitch did you just assume my gender but anyway let's uh he says if you stick a telesto to a friendly sparrow and drive by an enemy will it kill them i thought this is a very creative one i like the uh, creative ones that involve mixtures of things in destiny so i'm going to show the footage and i'll get back to you so let's go So as you can see, uh, it does work. You have to be very lucky. The first time we tried it, it didn't really do a lot. But the second time when we actually got close and just did it for the purpose of it, us doing it, it does work. But you'd have to be really lucky and get really close to them for this to work. But if you get lucky, then I guess you get lucky. But yeah, it can work. Moving on to the next one then from Rafe Ahmed Khan. I'm hoping I said that right. I'm sorry if I didn't. Uh, but they say, can someone deflect the dynamite shot from the Zen Meteor from a sword? is it possible even after using the deflecting artifact so um, I don't know if you're uh, aware of this but you can't deflect without the artifact anyway so I'm going to show the footage of us testing it and you'll see oh, for one. three opponents down So as you can see, unfortunately, no, it won't deflect. Uh, it just does a crazy amount of damage to the sword. It doesn't deflect though. But you know, it is what it is. I was wish I wish it could. It'd be quite beast. But uh, then again, it's just you know, it kind of be OP as well. Maybe I don't know. But let's move on to the next one, which is from Ryan Shasta, and he says, "Can you use memory of Fair Winter and a sword to reflect Drake's promise shots?" I'm pretty sure you mean memory of Radagast, but we'll let that one slide. Uh, it says, "I think they are projectiles because they have a travel time." Just wondering, love your content. Thank you so much, Ryan. And you are right; they do have a travel time. When I was testing this, I shot them in the air, and you do see them travel. They're not just like a straight firing bullet. So I'll show the footage, and you'll see. As you can see, unfortunately, no, they do not work. That was, I, I really thought they were going to work. Like you said, they have a travel time, but it doesn't work. And one thing else to note, they really do take down the sword um, in terms of how quick it takes. If someone is blocking and you have a Dreg's Promise, 
Bob's your uncle, mate, because you're going to take down that sword really quickly. So, yeah, that's, that's myth busted, I guess. It doesn't work, unfortunately. Moving on to the next one, then, from Toby, the MLG Pug. Beast name and a beast profile picture, I might say myself. And Toby says, can you unstick a sticky made to you with a Twilight Garrison boost? Uh, here's the footage. Oh, the hounds of war are loose. Oh, it doesn't work. I don't know if I'm right or wrong here. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure this used to work, but it got patched. My memory is very faded in terms of that subject, but I'm pretty sure it used to work, but it got patched. But who knows? Maybe it didn't. But anyway, let's move on to the next one then, which is the last one. It's from Crazy Killer, and they say, Can you kill an entire team with the Icebreaker Collateral? So, um, one thing I will say, uh, this is going to kind of spoil it, but kind of not. In terms of collaterals, most snipers, if not all of them, need armor-piercing rounds to get multiple kills using collaterals. Like, more than two kills, um, you need armor-piercing rounds on a sniper. So, I will show the footage of us using the icebreaker and using a crowd to use the explosion of the icebreaker to see if that kills the whole team. But yeah, let's show it. Magnificent. Now stay focused. Heavy ammo available. As you can see, it doesn't really do a lot. It doesn't really do a lot. Kind of unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. That's the world of Destiny. You just some things don't go your way. But anyway, that is a. Uh... That is the episode of Destiny Mythbusters. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like. That'd be greatly appreciated. Comment down below your myths for the next episode of Destiny Mythbusters. And also subscribe if you're new around here. We're getting closer and closer to a 55k. Next goal, obviously, the big one is 100k. But I like to go in like steps like 55k, 60k, 60k to 70k, 70k to 90k, 90k to 100. You know, I like setting goals. It's a good thing to do. But anyway, yeah, hope you did enjoy. My name is Vinvalet and I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, no.